I'm on case three, yeah. I'm like halfway through case three, I think. I think I'm in between trials right now, or days, I guess. Yeah, high wild style. Alright. Gotta remember what I'm doing. We don't have enough information. Is there a part of the studio I didn't go to yet? I think I was able to go to the to Studio 2 now, maybe? No, I, okay, I went there already. High drywall. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I already read this. Just gotta remember what, what I was doing. Yeah. How long has it been? Has it been like a week since I played this? <laughs> I feel like I don't remember anything. everything there. It must be the studio then. Say, so you work with the props, right? About that murder weapon. Is this actually what I have to do? You mean the samurai sphere? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? Are you gonna tell me where he is, maybe? I heard something at the trial today. They said the director and producer were here. Oh, sorry, I was in the prop storage room. I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. Mr. Powers is a bean. <laughs> so they were trying to protect the director? He seems pretty just aloof, yeah. More the producer, really. The producer's a real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for her. Yeah, where is she, though? Do I have to go to Studio 2 again? Is there something else there? Okay. This place is deserted. Eek! N -n Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. H hello No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I thought we couldn't. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one at the guard station, in the guard station, the main gate. And what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go back to the happy music. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> dun -nut, dun -nut, dun -nut, dun -nut. Da, da, da. No clues. You, you got the key on you? No? Where would the key be? Key rack. Security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Please don't touch anything in there, especially not the key to the shed. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of you if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. What? So can I have the key? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I, I really want it. You don't understand how bad I want it. 
I really need it. Game it, you have a problem. <laughs> the trailer door, it's locked. Key's probably in the station. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. I think we gotta use the spear to kill Penny. And then we'll take it. What do I remember? Don't ask me. <laughs> I, I abstain. Enough. It'll come back to me. I know they were rehearsing and then... Um, she saw... She was like, yeah, only one person went because it takes a picture every time and it has to be Mr. Powers. And then it's like, actually, there were more pictures. And she was like, oh yeah, it's because there's like the director and shit. And we haven't met them yet. And then also apparently there's kids coming through the, the drains, so it could be them too. She was basically like, yeah, it's only him. And then it turns out it's 8 million other people as well that it could be. So what do I have to do? I have to talk to someone else, probably. Maybe he can get me in? No. How do I get the fucking key? Any ideas? <laughs> Surely. I know! I know we don't. That's not what I wanted to hear, Maya. Alright, let's go... Studio One doesn't have anything. Not knowing what to do in Phoenix Ray is a classic. It is, yeah. That's the chair. Yeah, I already read this. Employee area, maybe. It usually just, like, plays a cutscene when I go to the right place, I feel like. Anything? What the fuck? Who are Jew dudes, LMAO? <laughs> LMA- we were saying LMAO in 2001? Huh? We- Wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me! Whatever, labors. I had to figure that one out, jeez. This guy, yeah. How could you not know the great Sal Manila? I make elite shows? Oh my god, dude. This guy is so cool. I can't do him justice. The Steel Samurai Mine. RTFC. Read the film credits. Really? You're THE Salmonella? I'm so sorry. I just- you looked so... sorry. No, no. Quite alright, really. It's fine. Raffle. Raffle, man. What is it? You know, on closer inspection. Mm, yeah. Hot, hot, hot. Dude, I don't like him. I don't like him. Hey, do you do a, a lot of cosplay? <laughs> Rock sores? What? what, what? Hey, you're drooling. <laughs> Try <all. laughs> I'm not strong enough. Huh? Mm, lol. Buffer overrun. Pant. You've triggered my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me, pink princess. <laughs> Dude, no. Isn't she like 14? I don't know. The sequel to the Steel Saber. Maybe he's 14, drywall. Pink princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. Creative powers, Raffle Lamau. Pink Princess? Why has it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Yeah, educator. 
on what's cool, Phoenix. Being a lawyer is cool. Not these, not these kids shows, man. She's 17. Mocha S. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? This guy probably doesn't even know there was a murder, man. What? I know who Jew dudes are. <laughs> I hate this. That security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a log run. We had a run through for the action scene in the morning. And then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch, colon, parenthesis. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, sucksores. I hate missing out on food. <laughs> Nick, what does sucksores mean? No idea. I don't know either, Maya. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after 4 o'clock with the producer and some bigwigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. Why does he have the lower part of a, a baseball bat protruding out of his head? <clears throat> About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you be D. Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary though. Sweats. <laughs> Is he saying that? Is he saying the asterisks word? The words in the asterisk? <laughs> she brought these studios back for the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the steel samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Let's talk about the big wigs, man. Who exactly are these big wigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension, sweats. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers, scowl. <laughs> I gotta start using scowl. Hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Yeah, I would love to meet any of them. Instead, I'm talking to this guy. What do you, get, what do you think about this spear, man? I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. LOL. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite character for sure. Dude, I feel like... The more I get into this case, the more I'm like, oh, so there were like 8 million people in the studio that day. And she's like, no, it was just him. Dude, he's he's the best character, and it's not close. Because he's so relatable. I also talk like that and be weird to people. Aha! You again! Eek! How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume, told me to put it on, can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Why? I guess because, did we accuse her of being the person in the photo? In the suit, is that why they would make her do that? I don't remember. Mr. Powers was pretty tall. As soon as they saw, there was no way I could wear it. Okay. They let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway. Know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips.
Get her ass, Maya. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> this lady's too much. So how's it going? <laughs> um, about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. <laughs> Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. Okay, she's gonna kill the, the kid. Good to know. You know, she wasn't responsible for this murder, but the next one, for sure, we already know. About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you a minute to calm down. Can I have the key though? Uh, security guard station. I can see the computer. Hey, no touching. Guess I'd better investigate there later. Whatever's going on in that shed is... If there's another murder in there, it's happened already. I'm not stopping it. Whatever is going on in there is, is done. It's happened already. I, I don't even... I'm not even interested in going in anymore. Okay. Where the fuck are these producers, man? I just... They keep mentioning them, but I never meet them. <laughs> I just gotta randomly go in every room in the game. Just in case there's a cutscene. Alright, she seems calm now. Present something. I don't really have anything she hasn't already seen. Because none of these items are new. Maybe I talk to Powers now, I don't know. Nope. Yeah, you just gotta go to different rooms. <laughs> just gotta keep going around. Hey! It, hey, wait! It's the fanboy. I bet he I'll bet he came in right through that drain. Hey, um, Kitty O, what's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Uh huh? But you you are a kid. What a rude little brat. That's no way to talk to an adult. <laughs> I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. Damn. H hippie fashion? M mediocre? <laughs> Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. She doesn't look mad right now. <laughs> I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Is that a pun? Oh shit, he's got the, the rubber sword. <laughs> Hi, Doom. Happy Milking Monday? Yeah, you too, man. I didn't know. I didn't mark that in my calendar. Call me kitty -o again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Why are you holding your camera like that? So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? It's Tuesday over in Russia? That's true, yeah. How dare you utter that name, evildoer. What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay, then what was the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Easy! Like some fries with that? Hmm. <laughs> Not bad, Kitty. <laughs> Watch it. What are they doing? <laughs> Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Dude, he's got a he's got a baseball bat coming out of his head too. Is that just a thing? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? 
<laughs> or he. He always the steel samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But but no way am I telling you losers. What wait. Let me go. He's gone. We'll see if that holds up in court, bro. <laughs> Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Empty bottle slipped into the pocket. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Well, now we gotta chase him around. Is this guy still in here? Uh-oh. I, I don't want to be in here, actually. Anywhere else. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Ought of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her! Stop! Whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch. <laughs> That's what I say when I trip too. Maya sure looks happy. <laughs> Grab it. Get that fucking key. Hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? What's up, Sister Iris? How you doing? Everyone loves this game. It's pretty good so far. Uh, just move. No. I gotta slide to the right. Go in here. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station would work. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. All right, dead body, here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Eek! Someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers and, um, D. Vasquez. Is this also not a pun? I see. A and y who might you? D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. D's, ah, oh, I get it, I see. It's like D's Vasquez, <laughs> they got me. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. That's so clever. Miss Vasquez? He's like, what fucking murder, bro? I'm just chilling. I'm smoking this pipe at a rate that would kill anyone's lungs in a matter of minutes. Script. Excuse me? It was scripted? Script. I'm looking for a script. A, a script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. What the fuck are you talking about? We're getting nowhere fast. Drywall is just, he's just stun locked. He has nothing to say. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Damn. Sorry about dad. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV every week. 
That's all I have to say about it. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. <laughs> about the director. Salmonella, was it? What er, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. Go watch TV. I'm looking for a script. Oh my god. I can't be bothered with anything else. She's the most NPC NPC in this whole game. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? <laughs> it's starting to look like it. <laughs> Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? I don't think so. Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manila, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? <laughs> I, I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Dude, she is a fucking husk. <laughs> Man, and she's making us go talk to my favorite character. Thanks, man. I'm a fucking expert at navigating this place now. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13? Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Sweats. Uh-oh. My ass is pwned if I don't find it. Shakes. Nick. It might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. You... How? I agree. Sure. Why wouldn't I? Let's just look everywhere. Why doesn't he just remember? Gotta do another lap of the whole fucking complex. <laughs> let's just go to his house. Let's, let's just, like, look... What's his commute looking like? Let's just go through all of that, too. Maybe he dropped it on the way. We'll check every trash can in the building, too. It's gotta be in here. It's been turned on. Or the script be? It's in the van. It's gotta be. Film equipment. Okay. Studio One. Gotta be. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. She's so sad now. Everyone's weird and... and weird and or gross. Oh, I can't slide in here. Sick studio. It's like a tiny little room. Yeah. Where would it be? This is just the lights, camera, yeah. I don't know how. He's such a charming guy. <laughs> Alright, it's not here. Is it in the... this car? The van? Let's go for a drive. If I have a license, don't have a license, I have this, yeah.
What the heck? Chair. <laughs> Can't look at the chair now. What is this? It's like an incinerator. That's where the script went. Thank God we found it. It's in the incinerator. Oh, the chair in the Studio One. I've read this a lot. Yeah. I assumed everything in this room... Oh, okay. It was there. Aha! Found it, Nick! The script! Alright, cool. Thank you, Wildstyle. Good work. Script placed in pocket. Alright, now I get to talk to my second favorite character again. Here, we found it, your script. Ah, I'm so excited that you found that for me, can't you tell? You saved me. Game so backtracking. You do have to wander around a lot. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. <laughs> I'm reading. <clears throat> Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And and do you even know who we are? Powers lawyers. Um, right? Am I a suspect? You know what? You are a suspect. Get your ass in jail. No, it's just... Well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. Why was she being so fucking difficult? <laughs> Miss D's nuts, I know. That's the best... The best name so far. Uh, none of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The the path? Wait, what? Oh, did I press that on accident? On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head? I'm gonna need you to keep up, Phoenix. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Dude, it did not look that big before. Its head fell over in the wind, in the wind on the day of the murder. And there's no other way to get around it. There was just, it's impossible. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three o'clock. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. The path. Blocked. Mr. Monkey. Wind. Blocked path. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three o'clock to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. Interesting, Iris. B but wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. Dude, she is smoking that thing. Bone dry. When it wasn't broken in the 
announce the time in ooks. <laughs> One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. What's with this game and clocks that break and make noises? Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 until f after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See, goodbye. It's blocked at 2.15. Okay. Couldn't have done it. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides Will Powers who could have killed Hammer. What are you talking about? What about what about the, the kid or Penny? It's over, we're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Sad, I guess. What are we gonna do? Mr. Yokai? Mr. Demon? <laughs> Interesting. Was it not a monkey originally? And then in localization, they were like, yeah, it's a monkey, actually. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Yeah. She could barely carry the spear, even. I don't know, man. Who else could do it? Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. Is there a reason it can't be Penny or the kid? It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Oh, shit. Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. <laughs> right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. Fuck! I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. Oh, yeah. How did I fucking... <laughs> how did I forget that? <laughs> what? No way am I telling you, losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find something, some way of bringing him to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mia's dead, which means you're going to be talking to her more than ever before, actually. Yeah. She's like, did you seriously just ask me that? <clears throat> okay. Puff, 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 puff. What's wrong? Puff, 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 puff. Whipper snapper. She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When, when I catch him, I. Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I. I got a hostage now, whippersnapper. A hostage? What's this about a hostage? When that boy was running away, 
he dropped this and ran. He'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand it with all that huffing and puffing. <laughs> Phoenix, I'm still here. That hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Miss Old Bag. No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? I have a guide map of the studio. She'll take that. I wonder. Do you want the murder weapon? What happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll lay him flat. My, what a violent old lady. Yeah, Mia. We, we gotta catch you up. We, we've certainly met some, some characters while you were gone. Actually, I just met with the director now. Eh? Ha! Huh. My heart don't feel- I don't feel so good. Is she okay? B before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Is she dying? <laughs> Ooh, my attorney's bad? She can have that, yeah. Visit the studio. I think she should take my guide map. She just... Why did you send me here? What the heck? Maybe she likes us. We can give her a step ladder. I'm a firm believer we have to keep our feet on the ground. That's facts. Ooh, a reflecting screen. What does she want? Why does she want to be here? I don't understand. Is she supposed to come with me? I don't understand. I met the director just now. Is she okay? Go where poor Hammer died. She's saying she wanted to visit the studio. Did I just have to give her something? I don't understand. The monkey's head! <laughs> Sleeping pills? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. This old bag, I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Oh, okay. Just be sure to give it back. She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Oh, she was super chill about that. Wow. Sleep drug? That's a drywall reference. She doesn't want the monkey's head. Here, have my attorney badge. I'll give you anything. Hey, that... That's a card. Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. I I could visit poor Hammer. She doesn't have one of those. I'd like to visit. He died. I was his his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag. Studio One isn't my turf. You'll let me borrow borrow it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Well, I'm not lending it to her. I'm I, trade offer, trade offer. Give me your your thing. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go. You're throwing it. 
No! <laughs> it was supposed to be a trade! Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. Oh, we'll just, we'll just guilt her into it. Let's go. You take this, and we're even. Deal? She is about to die, like, actually. What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. She's, she just relinquished that with, like, no second thoughts. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. I've got to go where he was murdered. We hella juice. Hey. Hey, you, wait a second. Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Alright. Not the smartest character in the game, though. No. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Damn it! He keeps fucking apparating away. Come back! There, he's back. I used my ghost powers to bring him back. How did she... <laughs> she actually did. <laughs> what the fuck? What? She's talking to... <laughs> Is this just supposed to be like Maya? It's just like Maya, but we're like imagining her as Mia. Hey there, would you mind helping us out? This is Mia, please? You see her too, don't you? Uh, I'm Cody. Yeah, but I don't know if this is supposed to be like... Phoenix's... Like... Just his, like, I don't know, perception of Maya. That's crazy. I guess, yeah, it's, it's supernatural. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Fey. I died, isn't that crazy? And I'm here now, and I'm talking to you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. What? You guys were hitting it off. Why me? I'm not sure I'm so qual- I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Tell me everything. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I bet he's, um, the bomb. Ha! What would a labor like you know about Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like he needs a little persuasion. It looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe. What do you mean? What do I use? I should have gave him the the uh, guide map. <laughs> he would have loved that. Cody, this look familiar? Hey, my you are. Love life reference. You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. <laughs> Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Yeah, shout outs to Sif. Rest in peace. Give you this, if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect 
eschewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. <laughs> what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Damn. Dude, he giga needs it. I got a double. Oh, shit. Just keep it. It's yours. Fuck. <clears throat> what? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to, tr if you want to trade, find me a really rare card, bruh. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on, man. For a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium, rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? Nice steaks, dude. I need Aura to buy me one of those, man. Okay, I have something so rare that you can't even find. You can't even find another one. Oh, he doesn't like it. He doesn't want the monkey's head. How can one person be so lame? If you were a superhero, you'd be lame-o, man. The paste steak, yeah. What's up, Taco? Hey, kid, how you feel about drugs? What's that? Boring. Correct. Good answer. That was a test. Stay in school. The samurai spear. That's totally cool. I wish I had one, too. Well, here you go. It's yours, man. This kid and Maya would get along great. He doesn't want it? How about a photo of him? Hey, it's the Steel Samurai. Huh? Why is he dragging his foot like that? Where'd you get this anyway? Guide map? Thoughts? <laughs> Alright, All right, good night, game it. I can't believe he doesn't want it. Okay. Uh. All right, gotta find an even rarer card than that. And in order to do that, we gotta check every room. Again. You know what? What if the what if the producer gives us something? Card game drywall reference. <clears throat> yes. My favorite part. Oh hi. What's up, murderer? What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope, she's the same as always. Puberty is crazy. Same as always. Uh, okay, whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing ar around after that boy so fast, I thought she'd collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fists back at the guard station. Like, who the fuck does that? That serves zero purpose. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. She was squeezing donuts through her fist? Is that a saying? <laughs> or is that literally what she was doing? <laughs> Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. 
but his popularity had to have been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? He's, he's dead, bro. He's fucking dead. I shouldn't have said anything. Is that what she's referring to? Now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer. I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Oh, why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? I mean, what's... Does she not think I know that he's dead? Can I have the Mountain Dew? No. Whoops. Samurai Summer. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we should replace the poster in the office with this one? That would be kind of sad. Singing Samurai. What the hell do Samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? It's a Samurai musical set in ancient Japan. A, a Samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed. You know your stuff, Mia. Oh, Maya's the real fan. I just picked a little up. Cute. An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Nothing in here. Had the meeting, documents, paper cups. Designing a set. Can't believe it's been that much. The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. Okay. So something happened to Jackhammer. Presumably before he was killed. Because I kind of already know that. Uh, wait, I can't go to Studio One because I don't have my card key anymore. Do I talk to Will about it? Need my donut squeezed? I'm saying, Doom. Not gonna be nervous about Anime Girl. <laughs> That's why they're so powerful. I don't know, Drywall. Surely, surely it happens every once in a while, right? Glorified trading quest? Yeah, for sure, dude. I guess Mr. Powers isn't questioning. Oh well. Let's try again another day, Phoenix. <laughs> Let's try another day. What the fuck do you mean? Maya's getting better at this, damn. Mia's been here for like... Two hours or some shit, I don't even know. How long has it been in-game? <sighs> what do I do? Talk to the boy? I don't have anything for him though. Yeah, try another story. He was here. Do I have something he wants? Tax autopsy. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Was there a card near them? I didn't notice that. Oh my gosh, you just have to like... Go back and then go forward. Over and over. 
Looks like two people are here. There's nothing left. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card. <laughs> please, I beg you, trade, please trade with me. T trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card, oh my god. Trade me a, huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? I'm desperate. Give me that card! <laughs> don't trade, imagine. I actually don't want it. Really? Thanks. Then this is for you. The Erp card, let's go. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? It was all for personal gain, Mia. I didn't... I didn't try to do the right thing there, actually. I got the ERP card. Dude, imagine... I sell the card online for money, and then... tell the court that Will Powers did it, and he goes to jail as an innocent man, and I made, like, a hundred dollars. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, he is. I gotta go back to the main gate, and then I gotta go back to the employee area, and then I gotta go into the dressing room. I got this place mapped out. I don't even look. I don't even have to look at the guide map anymore. Okay, here's your herb, bro. Here's your herb, bro. <laughs> this is gonna be a slayer ever. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Henry? See this card? Yeah, so... Wait, that's it! That's the last Ultra Rare Premium card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! Wow, I've never seen him so eager. Can I play better? Okay, man. Starting now, I will. Right, okay. How about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a Samurai Spear and throw in an Evil Magistrate to boot. No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards, I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. We don't give him the card before he says... Okay, whatever. Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. I was wondering if we're just gonna make a kid testify. Kind of funny. Wait. I keep pressing RB on accident. Ah, uh, yeah. Steel Samurai, I guess. Judging by his looks, you have to look at his actions, at his life. Oh, he's saying that to me? You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh, me? Yeah, I, I love the Steel Samurai. Steel Samurai? Big fan. His, his kind nature. Right. Come on, think of something. I really like his, um, kind nature. What a guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's as gentle as a kitten. Yeah. Dude, I was just thinking that. Oh my god. 
Did this kid kill someone? We're trying to figure that out. He is a suspect. <laughs> At least for me, personally. I'm not letting this kid off the hook. He probably did it. So, what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. So, tell me what your favorite thing is. Well, I like his fighting skills too, Cody. Got to think of something. I like it when he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, wizam! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. We need witness statements. This kid definitely gets bullied, probably. <laughs> it's my fan album. <laughs> That's so funny. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Can you afford that? You fucking spoiled brat. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. He goes to every show, man. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wizam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Wizam! I gotta start saying that. This guy is you with Aquars. You've gone to every concert. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? <laughs> you bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai, Path to Glory. Tell me about the murder! The Steel Samurai always wins. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? You're just gonna give it to her? Damn. Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. The screenings? That is true. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Okay, interesting. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. I don't get... Steel Samurai scrapbooks? What the fuck? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? That's convenient. You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything. Well, well. We might get some useful information out of him yet. What did you see? I saw him get murdered by myself. I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around two. There's... If we don't tell anybody, it's fine, Hannah. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear, just like always. Except this time it was fucking real. <laughs> one shot, one kill. He got no parents? Sag. Maybe, maybe... Maybe that's how it works. He lives in that forest. We're just hanging out. That's all that's happening. We're just hanging out with him. We're trading cards. He used his samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. So it happened outside the studio, then? I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? 
Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Who's the director again? Oh, this guy. That's right. That's because it's the producer, I think. Yeah, producer. This guy's the director, I think. Salmonella. So it couldn't have been Sal or D because they were trapped. Only person is Will Powers. It's like, really? Did you really just say that? It's only 34. <laughs> it's all the smoking, surely. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. It's kind of a shock how fucking stupid you are. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Well, let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. I heard everything. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Scram. Everybody scram. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. Man, it looks like we set him up. That's fucked up. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke like that. Like, well, I'm out of here. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I don't know. I never expected things to go this badly for Powers' case. I'm not sure we can win this one. Phoenix? If you don't believe him, who will? Man, being a lawyer is hard. What if he just fucking did? What if he's lying? I don't, I don't fucking know. I'll see you in court tomorrow then. Great, thanks Mia. See you soon. She's just still alive. For all intents and purposes, she never died. <laughs> what if bro just did it? I, I'm just saying. Believe in your murderer client until the bitter end. You have to. He didn't? What? I mean, I know he didn't. You wish he did? That'd be kind of funny. Cowardly lion looking ass. <laughs> Joey, remember what Drywall said. I love my wife. I'll see you in court tomorrow. Leo White Fang looking ass. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Oh, I love when you're mad at me. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. 
Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. She died and she's there and everyone can talk and interact with her still. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An, an unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Yeah, a lot of other people. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Gotcha. Yeah, Party Kirby. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that'll be the producer. Prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manila to the stand. Or that director. Oh god. Will the witness state his name and profession? Here we go. How rude can you get? Do you not know me? I'm the director. I made the Steel Samurai, noob. Brothel. Sal Manella, I'm a director of television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, your honor. Hmm. Yeah, this is my favorite character. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. Yeah, we're still in the case three. What's up, Deuce? Why is she looking at me like that? If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trial on that day did it. Right. She doesn't want to waste any time putting out the pressure. I'm trying to get AIDS. <laughs> I just read that. Why? <laughs> What's with this? I was at the studios around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing a, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in, studio, in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Just gonna lurk, sounds good. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Hold it. In the employee area. That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Sarah and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, that security lady was there standing watching the whole thing. Lol. She was cheering on Hammer if you can believe it. She certainly has the, the lungs for it. Anything else? Nope, just us four. that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. What exactly did they have? T-boned steak, the assistant cooked some though. Come to think of it, there were some bones on it in the employee area. 
everyone else, meaning that the witness did not even You didn't take a single break? Er, well, yeah, not not a one. Sweats. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix. If his alibi holds, powers is finished. Press him as hard as you can and find out where he's lying. Right. You weren't at the studios that early! Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. All that! Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Still, for what it's worth, I was pretty busy all that day. Sad face. Tell us more about that. <sighs> How much time? Why did it go on for so long? Um, I'm pretty sure Juve already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run through C. Oh right, thus the limp. Which of course led me to missing my lunch. Roll on the floor sobbing? <laughs> Is that what he's saying? <laughs> Starving? <laughs> okay. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. What exactly did they have? I already said that. Hold everything you're saying! So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Could you believe it? So he did leave for food during the meeting. That must have been tough. Phoenix. <laughs> it's just like, Phoenix, fucking come on, man. Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Actually, there is something bothering me. Mr. Manella, just now you said steak at least. What kind of steak was it? You ate something other than steak. Yeah, good call. I had some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to stave off starvation. I see. Is that all? I was sure I was onto something there. Chocolate in his pocket. <sighs> you had to have taken a lunch, man. Studio 2, there's something on the table. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the one in, in the employee area, yeah. Who ate lunch there? Oof. No, er, uh, um, eh, good call, sweats. I, er, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. A T bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. <laughs> I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. This guy's awesome, man. How could you hate this guy? 
clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? <sighs> yeah, you gotta... You gotta hide away your shame in Studio 2 and eat. We took one break during that meeting. But I didn't leave my chair. I actually scooted my chair out of the trailer, down the stairs, and then ate the table and scooted it back up because we never left our seats. That's the face I make sitting down at Applebee's. <laughs> when have, have we ever went to Applebee's? Maybe at Perkins at, at, at 3 a.m. when we used to do that. I'll carry a mental image I'll carry with me to my grave. Fuck Perkins, why? <laughs> hey, you don't say that about Perkins, man. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one bit more. Meeting till four. Pretty sure no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break? Or, well, yeah, not a one. What's he sweating about? If only I had an idea. Wait a second, I do have an idea. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. This is so like, the food was already there. I don't really see how this is pertinent. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, Raffle. <laughs> Oopsie, did I say that? My bad. They do wild style. Well, um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess I did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. Oh, thank you. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Hmm. I see. Your Honor. I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Interesting. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony. Irk. <laughs> uh oh. Edgeworth is laughing. Yeah, for what it's worth, we took a break. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's like 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lol. That's just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me, steams. You ever just steam? And when you're just like in conversation and you start steaming? I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. All the time, yeah. Natural reaction. You can't eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes? Hold it! Ruffle, only 15 minutes. That's like 13 in base 12. Why is that? Wait, why? What did I press? I didn't say anything. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? You my tea won't say. There are two plates on the table. Oh, right. The other one was Diva's. Sorry. Div. Vasquez. Huh. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. I have to say, you look like a guy who'd get through his meals pretty fast. I'm calling you fat. 
In court. Isn't that epic? Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food, lol. Well, Phoenix. That testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Why is that? Just goes to the next dialogue line. say it was around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. But the, the head was in the way. I guess it's possible time-wise. One of those just... Yeah, okay. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? I agree. Your Honor. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim... someone... Maybe he's lying about when he took his lunch. I don't know. Rat jam. <laughs> Notters. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm, I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4, the path from the, between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head... OBJECTION! It was Mr. Monkey! ...had fallen across the path. Whoa, you're right. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head barred the way. <laughs> yeah, it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I know, when they showed that screenshot the first time, I'm like, damn, the path is blocked and there's no way to get around it. It's blocking the entire path. And not even a single person with murderous intent would ever be able to get around it. No counter-argument? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over. <laughs> Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1, and they therefore have no relation to this case. 
Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the seal samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty, Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence, a witness. Man, everything just gets worse before it gets better, dude. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten minute recess. I think this can wait. I'm not terribly interested in this witness, but... In ten minutes, we'll hear about it. <laughs> oh boy. It's gonna, she's so mad at me. What did, what did I do? Why are you looking at me like that? What do I do now? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Oh... <gasps> Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. Like we've got I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Oh, yeah, what's up, Spence? Raid message. How is the rest of the practice going? Did you do... Ocean Palace a little bit, or maybe Seagate, I don't know. <clears throat> Fleetle, what's up, man? Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. Yeah, sorry, you guys are kind of coming in, in, right in the thick of it, so. If you've played the game before, you'll probably figure out where I am pretty quick. Damn, all seaside. Let's go. Did you end up getting, uh... What was your best, like, ramp time? Did you end up getting that 38? I checked my PB. I got there, like, high 37. So, like, 38's pretty damn good. 38.50. Nice. Yeah, what's up, Compton? How you doing, man? There's more, yeah, for sure. Maybe next Saturday I can try to help you with the the rocket excel method. But I mean, I think you kind of understood it. It's just getting the hammer out in time is difficult. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, am I going to jail? What's gonna happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. Don't worry. <laughs> I'd be worrying. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. Oh, we got the big strat on the palm tree. Oh, let's go. That one's tough. I only very recently started feeling, like, kind of confident about that. It sucks, too, because there are some where you jump, like, way above the spring, and it actually doesn't save that much. Well, I don't know. Maybe it still does, because at least you ground so a lot of it. But there are definitely, like, faster jumps, like, into the spring. Here are the children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. Yeah, for sure. What's up, Zytix? How you doing, man? This one's for the kids. Let's do it.
Alright, he has a witness. You know, he doesn't need the witness. I well, I guess so. The judge is like, we need decisive evidence or whatever. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Powers. The prosecution has a concern as our witness is a grade schooler of tender years. And this is a murder case. Well, never too early. We worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edward taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> I love that. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Damn, they buy donuts by the fucking crate? Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Say it! Witness! Oh my god. What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. <laughs> or... Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. <laughs> I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Hmm. H-Dog. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness. Er, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. He's eight years old, I guess. You were present, or er, you were at Global Studios on the day of the er, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. Bearded gentleman. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. <laughs> I'd like special permission if that's possible. What, you're saying so you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of it in the, in the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw that day of the incident. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense. Be gentle. This kid is tougher than most of the adults we see in here, honestly. <clears throat> Internet. What website?! Was that day the first time you've been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. And that security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time? Jeez. <laughs> I went 
through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. So no picture was taken. Off the path. Yeah, you know how the studios are in the valley over there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. Ah, so around the fucking statue. Is that where this is going? It's like, oh, actually, the people in Studio 2 can get to Studio 1 because they just go fucking around. As we can clearly see. I see. Anyhow. I was going for the studio. How? There was a head in the way. Did something unusual happen here? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. Interesting. So you went straight to the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. Got lost in the woods. Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? Just press everything. Steel samurai. Yeah, he was standing by the gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. Bad guy is evil magistrate. Guy, a person, kind of tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kind of far away. He's being awfully vague. Yes. I need to put Doom on trial, for sure. What happened to the bad guy? What did you mean by milking Monday? Huh? Well, well, he kind of didn't move, not a bit, like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. <laughs> didn't know his camera. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Block the path between 215 and 4. this yet? You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do. I've taped every show. I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. You've been to the music music part. Of course. Duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. Okay, man. No, you are did nothing unusual happen. What's this about again? Just couldn't find his way. I gotta present something or wait? Or do I have to hold on? Which one 
that's it. This side. Nothing unusual happened. Unusual. Did you see this monkey? This monkey? I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. How about now? I can't present now. What do you want me to do? Oops. What sort of bad guy? Try that. But maybe I did it on the wrong line of dialogue or something. I mean, I'm assuming, so my logic is like. Un. un which one is it? When he talks about the bad guy. This one. When I press this, Mia, like, gives me the stink eye. <laughs> a guy. A person kind of tall, skinny. I'm sure it was a guy. I don't know. He was kind of far away. He's being vague. And she looks at me. So I'm like, okay, you want me to... Object somehow, like I don't have anything. So, his camera, like I don't know. Cody, what you just said seems a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? <laughs> Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? What happened to being gentle? You said he doesn't have it. Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh. Is I putting too much pressure on? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera? It's a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright. How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... 
<laughs> he did look like that. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody... What? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You had a problem with that? So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well, please testify what you were busy watching. What, there's more? Why didn't he say it? If there was more. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The steel samurai goes to the bad guy. Wham. Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The steel samurai rules. Hmm. Oh, is that all? Well, that was brief, Mr. Wright. Okay. I had my camera with me. That was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Huh? Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once. No. Okay, then tell us what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. He goes for the bad guy. The bad guy attacked him first. Your Honor, I'd like to tell this child to stop fucking lying, and he's a piece of shit. What sort of person is this, was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. I'm catching! How is he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. Objection. What did you do after the bad guy fell? Um, actually, the fight was so intense that I got kinda scared. So I went straight home. Something is adding up here. Something about his account doesn't seem right. Phoenix, it doesn't seem right because he's being deliberately vague. Press him on the facts, Phoenix. Find out what he saw. Why did you use it? Jury freefall. He's getting to that. Relax and listen. He's not getting to it. I guess. Clearly, the action. Okay. You didn't take your eyes off it a single time. It goes for the bad guy. We don't know what the bad guy looks like. Bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. Did I do this one? I did all of them, I think. Why? Why did he stop moving? Brought him to justice. Yeah, man. How exactly did he do that? He fucking killed him. With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap. Something like that. He's still being vague. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. Why should I play this? What about the spear? Was there a spear, Cody? What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Vague. I've been told I say that word weird. Tell me, what kind of a murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> yeah, Edgeworth. Urgh. Oh, he's right. Nobody uses a samurai slap. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But 
you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order, Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, er, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Why didn't he see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. We've ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Would I, why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? the spear. It's like one way to go about it. He couldn't watch it. I mean, it's reasonable to assume that, too. I feel like... He couldn't watch it. Spear. Why wouldn't he? Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murder take place? Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight like on TV. He didn't watch it because he couldn't watch it because he's a robot. <laughs> the more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh. I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence. Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away? Because of my badge. Because he was on sleeping pills. Contains every contains photos of every victory scene in every battle. I feel like this is the most important thing. This might prove prove. The spear doesn't prove anything. He didn't mention a spear ever. But that's what he killed him with. How is that not like important? Watching something else. Uh, oh, I can't go back now. Climax the fight because he was looking at something else, probably something else. What could possibly distract this boy? What do you claim he was looking at? Man, why can't I figure this out? Camera. Monkey? The monkey was... I mean, he... Yeah. I don't know, dude. Here's my proof. The camera? Witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He was watching something else. Wasn't familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Yeah, he was looking at something else, the camera. But you can't look at you can't choose the looking at something else option. You have to choose the camera. 
which he was looking at. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. I mean, I fumbled around four different times, but thanks. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way you could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. All right. Cody, there's only one reason why you would have looked away from this fight. Right. That's because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Or right. Mia meets business. Your Honor. The defense would like to request that Cody Haggins testify once more. Could you please tell us about your camera and why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Hmm, anything strange in that testimony? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. of the villain. You did see the beginning of the fight, yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely. He's limping. Took a... Hold on my camera. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. The lens wouldn't open. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground. And the Steel Samurai. That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once I got that. I would have once I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Nah, he definitely took a he definitely took a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. Okay, fuck. Cool. You took a picture. Hey. Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony then, for the 17th time. I took a few shots, but it was too late. So I erased them. You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. There has to be something. Steel Samurai. Holy camera. Ones wouldn't open, so I missed it. I took a few shots, so it's too late, so I erased them. Why are they in here then? Cody! 
What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to take... I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh oh, right. He gave it to Mia, bro. Not you, actually. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when he lands the final blow. I got them all. Never missed one. Perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all of his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order, Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait. No way! Phoenix? I think we've dis finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M Mia, are, are we sure about this? Are we sure about this? <coughs> He actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them what the truth is. Boss champ, Komodo Pog champ. Why is there no picture? The photos were blurry! Erase them by mistake. The Steel Samurai didn't win. No, mm. oh, wild style. I'm jealous. Sometimes I wish I had a cat. Um, you didn't win. How would that be? I can think of only one reason. Yeah, explain it to me, Phoenix. Let's just pretend that I already know, because I do. And you're going to explain it to the crowd here. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Col Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N -n -n no way, no. It, it's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There's a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. Cody witnessed the impossible, and he saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. Anime girl saved me. He couldn't handle the truth! I don't know what you're cooking up here, Phoenix. Cody, is this true? What did you see? I... Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cat.
Cat Jam ass. Dog Jam, Dog Jam, Dog Jam. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> the day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. <laughs> right? Okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai fell down, but he didn't move. He fucking died. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. What's this all about? There was no victim. Everyone's alive, actually. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Don't you get it? Jackhammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order. So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. Oh, it all makes perfect sense now. The guy we thought was dead actually isn't dead. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Jackhammer? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jack, <clears throat> Jack Hammer's present at the action scene run through the morning. He obviously knew about the power's foot injury. But wait. Had it Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. Remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? <coughs> I arrived at the guard station at 1 a.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He had already gone to the studio before I got back. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio 1. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room, and he snuck into the dressing room, stole the costume. Why would he do that? I don't know. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna get more water. Yes, it all makes perfect sense, except that it doesn't at all. Oh my god. One more? Alright. What's up, Blue? How you doing? And listening while playing Hotline Miami, nice. This is a weird stream. Dude, you waited for me to sit down. You're actually a bastard. You waited. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, fuck off. <laughs> oh my god.
videos are done now, right? I get it. Also, shout shoutouts to Yetmu. I haven't seen that in so long. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. <laughs> so it was a different person inside the suit. Pops. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Everyone's hiding stuff all the time. Yeah, photo on my digital camera. What? Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. Here, this is it. <laughs> kind of. Uh, that's the most I've flipped Kirby in, in recent memory. Looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This is decisive evidence. This doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Oh my god, it's 12 16. Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo once, once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. Is that Studio 2? I mean, he's got the spear. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? Take that! The number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, your honor, correct? Ah. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But... That's impossible! <laughs> Uso... Nessie. <laughs> Wait, why isn't Nessie working? The fuck? I can't see Nessie. <laughs> as long as you can see it. Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio 1. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo, Your Honor. Here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where it took place. It was right here. Take that! It was right here! What does that have to do with the number on the gate in the photograph? Dude, you dense motherfucker. It means it was outside Studio 2. Why doesn't he know? Think before you point at the map. Oh, it's... It, you want... So it was... Okay, it wasn't on the way, it was inside. Okay. I mean, it... Whatever. I see, that would explain the two on the gate. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place at the Studio 2. The trailer's there. As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. 
during that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. And by eating steak, I mean killing a man. The path to the trailer was blocked, so we've heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. path was blocked. I mean, the path was blocked at, like, the intersection, though. It was... Anyway, and the, the photo was taken in the woods, not the little area that I consider Studio 2 to be. That's why I clicked outside of it. Remember Miss Salmonella's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said that no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed the murder. They were the only ones with access. <laughs> order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbeg, saw was the victim. And Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole the costume. And then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. He's just vibing, yeah. Just listening in. It's like, damn, this is. You guys hearing this shit? Jack is about to go inside Studio 2 at the moment. So it was like right outside. That's where I tried to point. He has his AirPods in. <laughs> Let me know when you guys are done talking. I just gotta put someone in jail. I don't know. You figure it out. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. I always say I have proof. Because I'll make it up as I go. You... you do? You do, Mr. Wright. Now they're so surprised. Now that they're so surprised, I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Me too, man. Is my proof he stole it? Oh, the spear. Oh, man. Proof that he stole it. It's not hurting me. This doesn't mean he died. Yeah, that's fair. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? Found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where they ate. Label reads sleeping pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. But why? 
The drug does that that bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. There's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. We should examine his body. I thought it was Mr. Powers who made him... I thought it was Mr. Powers who made to take the sleeping pills? What? Of course. How could I... How could I not see? Well, I suppose you're right. Very well. Core will take possession. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Alright, suspend trial. Cody Haggard's testimony revealed new possibilities. Things might be very different. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where. He's like, all right, I gotta. Surely he drugged him, and then, and then uh, took his costume, so that he could go get murdered, in the costume. Like I don't, I don't know. And those in the trailer did not have time to commit murder. Oh please, dude. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? That's so nice of him. I'm gonna go get murdered on your behalf. In your own costume. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Aaron steal the steal samurai costume? And who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. Worth, you may need to reconsider your stance in this case. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Above all, you need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. How do you know that? What if, like, 18 other fucking studios show up and those are all places where he got murdered, too? And there's actually five children with cameras. <laughs> we'll have a lot of work tomorrow. Need my trial extended. Whew, that was a close one. You were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. What was she saying? She was like, that photo has all the evidence we need to end this trial right now. Everything. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Then what was all that sleeping pills business about? I thought seriously about going home after, or about three times during the trial. Me too. Really? You both seem so confident. Ha, huh, maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. <laughs> Me too. D dead Oh, of course we're kidding. Oh, I'm not kidding. Are you sure? <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right, thanks. Insane. Uh, this is gonna... It's gonna be, like, the most ridiculous reasoning. I, I don't know what the motive is at all. 